congratulations on the win tonight. That's great. Tell us what inspired the story. Um, I was walking around a stately home in Scotland when I was at university there and I saw, I came across a painting of two girls, one black, one white, and the caption said the Lady Elizabeth Murray, only the white girl was named. And there was this gorgeous, interesting and different black woman in the background and I said one day I'm going to tell her story and I have and there's a wonderful symmetry to be here at the NAACP award now um, with that story. Oh absolutely. What does it mean to you to be here? Oh I can't tell you how wonderful to be here in a room full of other people like me, people of color, of immense talent, of immense, not that I'm saying I'm of immense talent but you know what I mean that we are, I'm here uh, and without the end WACP and people who really want to, 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 to give us the proper exposure, we wouldn't be here. I think it's very, very important what they what what has happened here, um, especially against the background of what's happened elsewhere with awards this year. Well, what do you think makes this award show so special and so unique compared to the other award shows? Where I come from in England, there are more Norwegians nominated for BAFTAs than black people. I cannot tell you that sh literally short of getting a 4 by 4 and bashing me on the head, there's no more. That's the truth of it. There are more Norwegians nominated. This is not, there is something wrong and this, it, well, it's a wonderful occasion, but it is also a massive shout out that we're here.